I've got one, but she didn't set it up. <laughs> yeah, but you open that up. <laughs> Make sure you go the right direction for it, okay? Okay. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want to open it because there might be spiders in there. <laughs> oh, Ooh, oh sure, sure. I see how you are. Which, uh, Where was it? That, that doesn't doesn't mean anything just because it wasn't in the garage. Yeah, shake them out. Side, this side, or um, yeah, put it behind the pole there. <laughs> this thing looks faded compared to what it used to be. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's a that's a handsome chair. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Oh, the bell. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Does that mean it's time to eat? Probably. <laughs> So let's see if I remember how to do all this. Um, so announcements. Do we have? Uh, are there any in the? Yes, there are a few in the uh, in the bulletin. I'll call your attention to those. Uh, the ice cream social is in the planning stages. Uh, they're trying to figure out a date and having it outside and some other things. So uh, you can talk to a council members or uh, the youth sponsors depending on what your thoughts are on that. Um, also looking for input from parents about the Bible school, whether we should have it in the church hall or have it for, remotely from home. Oh, that ought to be fun. Because <laughs> I know everybody enjoyed having school at home with Zoom and whatnot, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, already they're not laughing at my jokes. We have a couple of announcements. Uh, Marion had one about treats for the kids, right? Marion, where'd you go? Right, right there. After the children's time, yeah. Yeah, so we'll, we'll have a, uh, you put it in? Yeah, a little children's time thing. And uh, I think I'll have them come forward a little bit, but we'll see. Um, and then uh, Kayla had one. Okay, do you have it like on you or is it going to be somewhere else? Okay, and the offering is going to be, uh, th there'll be a plate uh, before you go through to get your food. So it's kind of like, you know, fast food restaurant, pay and then you get your food. Um, so then we'll have a, but we'll have an offering prayer in the service. This, this, things are still a little strange and being out here just, you know, kind of adds to the... <laughs> uniqueness of the service. Um, are there any other announcements that, that didn't make it into the bulletin or that I didn't hear from? Anybody have any announcements about anything? Okay. <clears throat> um, prayer list, and I don't know how... It, have people called you, Jim, or sent you information during the lockdown and everything? So we may be a little behind on this. If you've got updates on people, that would be great. Or if you have new ones to put on, Make sure Jim gets that information. So um, right now, families of those who have lost loved ones, Axie Seals, Casey Hess, Sharon Cizek, Catherine Lair, and Keith Andrew. Um, there may be some people to add to that, that particular part of the list. Uh, other people on our prayer list, Daniel Mason, Doris McElroy, Mariel Matthews, Carolyn Brown, Zach Smith, Brad Smith, Keith Schlotter, <coughs> uh, 
Uh, Brenda Ryder, James Riley, Henry Stansbury, Ivan Harms, Rose Goldwater, Nick Mershon, Sean Lissy, Kaylee and Eric Piscors. I'm sorry, you can take Sean Lissy off there. Okay. He hasn't really done very, very well. Um, so. Cool. Excellent, thank you. Uh, Tom Crosher, uh, Josie Kendall and Sorry Schumann, Curtis Robbins, Anne MacArthur, Tom Groves, Angela Groves, Kathy Reinhardt, Gloria Honer, Richson Honer, Bob and Helen Rockenfield, Dave Campbell, Bernice Clark, Hope Burnett, Jamie Burnett, Jason Boyer, Lila Schaefer, Diane Fuller, Gerald Eunice Fielding, Alan Brackensick, Al Morauskamp, Alberta Kuntz, Betsy Powell, Brad Taylor, James Guthrie, Aiden Wheatley, Sidney Meade, Eli Campos, Lieutenant Colonel Paul Fry Rear, uh, Jason Hallett, Guillermo Tejada, military first responders, and medical personnel. Are there any additions you want to make to that list this morning? Wow. Good. Staying home is good for people, apparently. Um, all right. If you think of somebody before the prayer time, I'll ask again. All right. <clears throat> all right. Please join me in the call to worship now in your bulletins. <clears throat> How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts. My soul longs, yes, thanks for the courts of the Lord. My heart and flesh sing for joy to the living God. Blessed are those who dwell in your house, ever singing your praise. Blessed are those whose strength is in you, in whose heart are the highways to Zion. They go from strength to strength, each one appears before God in Zion. For they in your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of wickedness. The Lord God is a son and shield. The Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold from those who walk uprightly. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this lovely day when we can meet together outside here. We thank you for the good weather for the rain that has come recently and that is forecast for the near future. We give you thanks for this opportunity to worship together, even at somewhat of a distance, but together again. We give you thanks for all that you have done for us, all you have given us, all you will continue to do for us because we are always in your care. Bless this time of worship now, fill us with your spirit, and inspire us as we go forth from here. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. So you have music in your bulletins. Let's stand now and sing the hymn, uh, Ferris Lord Jesus.
the scripture says if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves. There's a lot of deception, a lot of self-deception that goes on in our world today uh, on that particular subject. People think that they just do no wrong. Let's not be among them. Let us come before God and confess our sins using first instant prayer in the bulletin and follow that with a time of silent personal confession. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, forgive us. We are far too timid about who we are. Through the work of your Holy Spirit, we have been called by your Son, Jesus, to follow him as his disciples. But so often we keep that to ourselves. All around us there are people who are lost and we do not share the gospel with them. There are evils we do not take a stand against. There are needs that go unmet that we could easily meet. We pay too little attention to your word. We do not heed the leading of your Holy Spirit. In all these things we sin. Forgive us and fill us with your Holy Spirit. Set us on the path where Jesus leads and keep us steady on that path. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The good news comes to us from God's word that when we confess our sins, God is faithful to us. He forgives our sins and he cleanses us from all unrighteousness. In Jesus Christ, we are forgiven. Amen. <clears throat> I'm going to ask the children to come forward now. We'll have the children's time. <clears throat> yeah, well, black and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. How are you guys doing? Good to see you. We won't sit down. It's kind of rocky here. So, you might know what this is. You guys know what this is? A mask. It's a mask, yeah. Do I look better like this? Don't, no, don't answer. <laughs> why are people wearing these now? Do you know? Because of the coronavirus. Okay, but why should, so what? Why wear a mask? Because, because, it, it, because, it makes, because it doesn't give you the coronavirus. Because of the air, it can have it, but if you breathe it in, it can give you Okay, so this is to protect me from the coronavirus? Yes. yes. <clears throat> Wrong answer. Okay, the, the science teacher comes out again. All right, so this actually doesn't protect me from the virus because I don't, I actually have an old, what's called an N95 filter, and it was among some stuff that my dad used to have, and he's been dead almost 20 years. Um, it's probably not any good, but I, you know. If you have a really good mask, it will protect you. But most of the masks that people wear do not protect them. If I put on my mask, it protects you from getting virus particles that I breathe out, if I have the virus. And the problem with this virus is that people can have it, and it doesn't show up for a while. Some people, it doesn't even show up if they have it. So there's all kinds of confusion about, about how you can catch it and, and when you can transfer But this is... This mask is not because I'm afraid of catching the virus. 
is because I don't want to give it to somebody else if I have it. Now, I've heard people talk about this mask being a symbol of fear. People, oh, you're supposed to be afraid of the virus, so you wear a mask because you're afraid to get it. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm doing. I'm not so much afraid of getting the virus. I don't want to pass it to somebody else because I care about other people. I don't want to give somebody else a disease if I have it. Does that make sense? So, to me, this is a symbol of caring, not a symbol of fear. And if I wear this, it's because I care enough that I don't want to pass the virus to somebody else because some people, if they get it, it's really bad. Other people, it's not a big deal.